Good evening. This is Front Page by AIM Network, India's video first newsroom for AI and tech. Tonight, a historic rewrite of India's nuclear policy, the kind that happens once in a generation. Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced that India will open its nuclear energy sector to private companies, ending a 60-year monopoly that began with the Atomic Energy Act of 1962. And for the first time, in independent India's history, the government will table the Atomic Energy Bill 2025 in this winter session of Parliament, a bill that could reshape India's energy, climate and national security framework for the next 50 years. So before we dive in, you know what to do. Yes, like, share and subscribe because you will want to stay ahead as this nuclear economy takes shape just like we predicted with space tech two years ago. So, well, if you want noise and drama, there are other channels for that. And now, why this is so massive? India wants 100 gigawatts of nuclear capacity by 2047, up from just 8.8 .8 gigawatt today. At this pace, we cannot get there with government-only reactors. The entire global leadership curve proves it. Here are the numbers. United States, 30% of world output, 80% private. Nuclear is treated as an industry. China, 16% global share, 0% private. Entirely state-run. France, 14% share, 100% state-owned. Electricité de France, EDF. Russia, 8%. 100% state control, Rosatom. South Korea, 7%, nearly 100% state control, the Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power, KHNP. So as you can pretty much notice, every major nuclear country is either fully state-led or fully private-led. India, locked for 60 years. Central government only, no state government, no private sector, no joint ventures. That era ends now. While inaugurating Skyroot's Infinity Campus, PM Modi dropped the biggest policy bomb of 2025. We are moving toward opening the nuclear sector. We are laying the foundation for a strong role for the private sector in this field too. End quote. And he spelled out exactly what private companies will now be allowed to build. Small Modular Reactors, SMRs, Advanced Gen 3 Plus and Gen 4 Reactors, New Nuclear Innovation, Potential Private-Public Power Partnerships, Commercial Reactor Components and Supply Chains. This mirrors what happened in space. We opened space which gave us 300 plus startups leading to Skyroot, private rocket factories, translating to Global Investor Rush. Now. The same playbook is coming to nuclear energy. This is a once in 60 years shift. The bill aims to modify the Atomic Energy Act 1962, permit private sector participation in nuclear power generation, modernize the liability law, enable partnerships for SMRs, floating reactors, advanced fuels, create India's first competitive nuclear manufacturing ecosystem, attract global technology players unlock tens of thousands of high-skill jobs. Evidently, this is the biggest revision of India's nuclear regulatory structure since Homi Bhabha's time. Wow! The future of AI, data centers, semiconductors and electric vehicles depends on base load clean energy. Solar plus wind is equal to intermittent. Coal is equal to polluting. Hydro is equal to limited. Gas is equal to expensive. Nuclear, on the other hand, is equal to stable, scalable, clean and long term. And small modular reactors, SMRs, can power all of this. Data centers, industrial clusters, defense installations, remote regions, hyd hydrogen production, EV charging corridors, gigafactories. Russia? 
is already offering India Gen 3 plus VVER 1200 reactors, floating nuclear platforms and SMRs, as we covered, if you remember, in our India-Russia nuclear future episode. China is building advanced SMRs at record speed. The United States is pushing for private nuclear 2.0 with companies like New Scale, Terra Power and X Energy. India definitely cannot just sit out of this race. So, what does this mean for India's future? Here it is. With this bill, India can finally build a private nuclear manufacturing industry, attract billions in global investment, fast-track AI-era energy needs, deploy SMRs across states, build national energy security, reduce Dependence on imported fossil fuels, localize high-value reactor components, strengthen India's climate commitments. Wow, that's a very brilliant list. Anyway, and now the front page take. This is India's biggest energy reform since independence. Nuclear is the backbone of the AI century and India just opened the gates for its own nuclear industrial revolution. Space was step one, semiconductors was step two, nuclear is step three, the foundation for a trillion dollar energy tech era. India is finally saying, we will build the reactors of the future, we will build them at scale, and most importantly, we will build them right here. So please, like, share, subscribe, stay ahead of the noise, stay with Front Page by AIM TV. And do, of course, let us know in the comments below. Should India go all in on SMRs or push for full-scale reactors first?